<laughs> well, we got a big show today. <laughs> It's a freedom to be yourself and say what you want and know oh. that the intent is good. If you're just trying to make each other laugh and be giggly, then that then it then it takes all the all the bad away. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Your 22nd favorite podcast is back with another episode. They swore that they'd try to bring you quality product this week, but they failed miserably. It's time for Balls Out with Ben Glees and Brett Hayes. It's so cartoonish. Yeah. And stupid and ridiculous that I'm, I think it's humorous. Oh, fuck, this is gonna be laughs all night. Coming on in three, two, one. Oh, uh, say why, puppy dress. Dude, do you, uh, do you chew? No. Why? Then there was something. Like there was something gross in these beer cans that I emptied out before you got here. Really? Yeah. It almost looked like you know uh, how chew comes in like bags. Yeah, I've noticed that though. Yeah, the little pouches. Yeah. If you leave cans out, like I've noticed it with Coca Cola. Mm. Like I'm not. I'm not happy to say that I've left cans sitting out for this long. Yeah. But actually i'm quite embarrassed to say that but like i've like tried cleaning them out and stuff and usually some type of like loogie comes out Ugh. it's nasty gross yeah those beer bottles have been up here for a while they were cans dude oh cans oh, yeah i've noticed it in cans only not the bottles yeah it, it makes me leery about taking a sip out of this leery just... or weary dennis leery dennis leery nice that i'm uh, gonna have one of those pop right into my gullet oh no you ever uh <clears throat> speaking of dip though you ever drink somebody's dip uh, oh out of wow somebody's dip bottle. Uh, no thank god i did that at deer camp one time when oh. i was like 18 years old and one of my cousins left it was a bud light bottle and you can't tell because they're brown bottles so, yeah and i took a big old swig of it and like a little ran down my throat and oh, oh, it sounds sexy yeah it was i almost puked everywhere it uh, I've had a cigarette no. accidentally drink a bottle or a can that had a cigarette in it. You had a cigarette drink a, bo- a can a bottle can that had <laughs> a cigarette in it. <laughs> t- t- today, Junior. <laughs> uh, th- uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, I had accidentally put Nasty. out a cigarette in one of my beer cans and then took a sip and it was Ugh. just awful. Oh, when was the last time you smoked a cigarette? Shit, probably uh, with you doing a yeah. like a promotion thing. Uh, we used to smoke a lot of cigarettes when we worked together. Yeah, but I remember I had quit, and then I had one with you after one of the live at night shows. Mm, yeah, remember that one time we went. We were to- both angry that night for some reason. At the end of the night, we were. Yeah, I don't know what it was about, or maybe I just had a shitty day. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what you're But we were in the park and I was like, I need a cigarette. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I had just quit like two months before. And oh. then I had that one and then never went back. Yeah. Well, maybe we need to start you back up. I, it yeah. probably would help me lose weight. Hey, I didn't want to say it, but. Get me on that. Get me on my way to my my goal for the year. Oh, did you set a goal? Yeah. Remember? Is that one of your Below 200 pounds. Not my, my prediction, but my New Year's resolution. Oh, really? Below 200 pounds. Oh, dude. Oh, Ben, I don't know about this. I think you need to set better standards for yourself. Like, Check that more, out. More achievable Did I show goals. you that yet? Is that a Peloton? No, it's a no. Schwinn, isn't it? Yeah. No, you told me about it, I think. Nice little exercise bike I got for my birthday. Does it have a little TV on it? No, it could. It could? But it doesn't. But it doesn't. It has a place for like to put a tablet. Oh, nice. Well, is there a TV in front of you at all? Yeah, at least? No, there is. You watch TV, or you can put your headphones on. Exactly. You can listen to podcasts. It's going to rock out. With my your... cock out. Oh, it's not where I was going. Oh, right no. But yeah, cool. Well, I'm at the bro- what? What? Oh, hi. What, Ben? What'd you get me? I got some news when I got here today. Oh, no. Are you getting evicted? <gasps> is this an IRS update? This is. Ooh, yes. We're required by law to mail economic impact payments by December 31st, 2020. Oh, that was a few weeks ago, Ben. We couldn't issue a check by this date, so you won't be receiving an economic payment. What? However, you may be able to claim the recovery rebate credit on your 2020 tax return, if eligible. 
Huh. How about that? I don't know. That's bullshit. Shows uh, <laughs> summary amount due and a big fat zero. That's bullshit, dude. Yeah. I'd be pissed. But, but at the same time, I'm able to put it in my taxes and it, it showed up yeah. as part of my uh, refunds so far. Wasn't the whole stimulus thing a part of your tax rebate anyways? Yeah. It was just, I think uh, so, uh, yeah. But... Uh, so now, gonna am I going to have to wait until my next taxes to get the $600 <laughs> one, or what the fuck? I don't know. And then if we get a $1,400 one, you know. Is that know. in the works? Is that what Biden's Biden, working Biden on? Biden said he was going to pass that one in the first day. But, hell, oh, hey, it's day one. Yeah. Uh, nothing passed yet, I don't yeah. think. Oh, damn, we just Biden's, presidency, Biden's presidency Presenies? is so young. <laughs> oh, do it. Yeah, do it. I saw the joke. God you dang forgot it. it. I oh. forgot it. Okay, we're going to wait. So, Ben, we're laughing. We're telling jokes and jests. Biden's presidency is so young, or is still young enough for oh him God. to sniff its hair. Oh, ben, you should have just left that one to the social platforms. I told you it was a funny joke. I texted you earlier. And I said it was hilarious. I, it's a joke. I'm revoking my text. I want you to send that text back to me, please. Okay. I need that text. Text me back after nine, because that's when I'll have minutes again. That was funny stuff. That's no. why we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at you, Ben, not with you. I wrote a joke uh, in the shower today. Oh, my God. Not as part of my uh, one month writing a joke. Well, how'd you do that? You does, have... that does that Biden one count as my uh, quick one yeah, for, that, the, that for January? That works. That works. Because but... otherwise I wrote... My dating profile is generating a lot of buzz. It's a real bumble. No, pee. no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Plus, you are totally engaged. I mean, bees. Just kidding. You wish. But uh, no. Uh, yeah. So I'm not proud of you. All right. So the Biden one. I'm disappointed. Counts. Why? Because I told the bumble one. Yeah, that was horrible. Yeah. Uh, a real bummer. Got a lot of likes on the Biden one, though. Oh, yeah, you did. Cause Even from people funny. from both sides. Oh, God. Trump supporters God. and Biden See, supporters. Un- America's being united as we speak. Yes. Oh, wow. We're back to a president that we can joke about. Blacks and whites are friends again. It's all good. Whoa. You're supposed to play something there. So God I don't... bless the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Bill got me today, dude. With? During the show. Like, oh made you God. laugh? Yeah, he made me laugh really, really loud. Okay. Okay. So he's like, all right. And, the, like, he's telling some story, and then he moves on. And he's like, I also want to pay tribute to uh, somebody that's stepping away today. It's uh, leaving their position and this and that. And I, like, I'm at this point looking down at the computer, and I look mm-hmm. up, and I give him an eye. I'm like, don't say Trump, dude. Yeah. And he's like, Philip Rivers is, like, not, he's not going to be a quarterback. What? Yeah. He's retiring? Yeah. Ah, and I lost it, dude. He thought that he saw me like mouth the word Trump, and I'm yeah. like shaking my head. <laughs> oh, he, I don't think he knew where he was going with that one, but it was hilarious. Damn, they're doing so well too. The Colts. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, it's Superfly and the Sports Guy. Banana, banana. All right, speaking of that, I got to tell you about this cringeworthy thing that happened on the show the other day. Oh, perfect. A caller this, called in. Okay. And write that or uh, mark that down on the old uh, plan for today. Cross that one off. There you go. Mark that one off. You got anything else you can mark off? No, not yet. Okay, not yet. So this guy calls in Monday. Okay. It's MLK Day Monday. Yes. And uh, it's the end of the first hour of the show. And he can, he calls and he's obviously, you can tell by his voice, he's a black guy. Okay. And he's trying to tell me his name so I can give it to Bill so he can introduce him and then bring him on and you know this guy wanted to make a comment or whatever. Yeah. So the name that guy this guy tells me is Super Racide. Okay. So I'm like, okay, are you joking with me? Right. Or like is there a different name that I can give you on air so that Bill <laughs> knows how to read it? Yeah. He's like, um he was really I don't know. I caught him off guard with that question, I guess. So I type up on the call screener, I type Super Racide is if you know 
I knew how to spell it, and it ends up being Super Race Day. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, this is the last segment of the show of the first hour. We have You're like an idiot. three minutes left in it, so I'm like, I run into Bill as fast as I can, but as yeah. we're, just as we're coming back, and I'm like, it's Super Rusty Day. It's Super Rusty Day, not Super Race Day. So this is the call. All right, and it's it's cringeworthy. Remember, it's MLK Day as well. Okay, okay. Mm. let's go across the state to the east side. AM twelve seventy, Super Rossi Day he is standing by. Wants to chime in. How you doing, my friend? I'm I'm doing pretty good, my brother. And uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How's life treating you on MLK Day? Oh, it's it's treating me very relaxing. Um, just you know. Just being real relaxed and focusing on um, my initiatives and my and my plans and my blueprints. But uh, yeah, happy MLK to everyone. And my name my name is pronounced Super Ra C Day. Super Ra C Day. That's an awesome name. Thank you. I'm a I'm an inner city sports analyst. Cool. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it, brother. So here we go. Um, the Advisory board. I've been saying this from day one. I've been one of the people saying this from day one. Yes, you're gonna have to get some real major. Uh, that was about it. But it's so awkward, dude, sitting there because first Bill says, "How's MLK Day treating you?" Yeah, and I'm like, "Dude, you don't ask a black guy that." Like, <laughs> period. Also, like, it's just kind of weird. And they call me the voice of God. Same. Thank you. I'm a I'm an inner city sports analyst. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. That part did stand out to me. Why are you calling? Wiki, 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 boom. Super Ra uh, C Day. <laughs> That's a cool name. Oh my God. I did not understand. Let me that. tell you, do you have a statewide web address? <laughs> Dude. I need to start keeping count of how many times he says that. Or not even that, but how, how many times he mentions how long he's been on air. How long has it been? He's been on air for 29 years. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. In Grand Rapids for 21. Wow. Yeah. And he'll, he'll he'll let you know it. He's been on <laughs> for almost as long as you've been born. Yeah, I mean. I don't even know how old you are. 30. Ah. So, yeah. So yeah. You're so right, man. I'm so glad you know me. The day he went on air is the day your parents had sex and made you. Mm. And then nine months later, oh, you were born. Yeah, I hope so. And then thirty later, thirty years later, here we are. Thirty later's year. Hey, hey. That doesn't even make sense. No, it doesn't, Ben. But I'm gonna take it. I did the math backwards. Bias I backwards. All right, let's move on, Ben. What else? All we right. Got? Well, you know what? Let's get away from radio talk radio and get into talk. family talk. Family talk. Let's go down the road of talking about Brett's sister. Oh yeah, I had to really bring it for this episode because because we were lacking. <laughs> we laughing. Lacking. Oh, lacking. Yeah. yeah. Well, always lacking. All right, let me chuck this beer really quick. I wanted to try to find this damn drop I had. It's not this one. Oh, I don't even have that one. I don't even have the hey anymore. Yeah, you do. It's right there. Hey. <laughs> I used to have it on the add one of my hotkeys, but it's gone. I don't know what happened to that drop. Hey. It's right there. It's not labeled Troy. Damn. It's right there. Hey. Damn. Where, Wait, where's on. Troy? Is he still at the Captain Marvel premiere waiting for us? Oh, oh it's because there was... Yeah. What? what, what? Did Nothing. you cover it up with something deleted. else that was really yeah. racist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so your uh, sister. You leap her out of this. Have I ever seen your sister? I don't or, think so. You're seeing a picture of your sister? I don't, not that I know of. But. Can I? Mm, no, no, you can't. Those are for me. All right, those are for my oh, bedroom gross. stories. So she's been like asking me. She's been like intrigued with CBD and marijuana. Like probably this is all over the past year or so. Okay, she has like anxiety and stuff. All right, so makes sense. I'll, I was trying to show her like the path to go down to get CBD and what to look for, and if you want to take it in a pill or a tincture or yeah. a droplet or whatever. So she finally got on some of that. 
Okay. This just like, uh, just CBD? Just CBD. This okay. was a couple weeks ago. And like I've smoked with her and my brother-in-law intermittently like once or twice a year. If okay, that, so she has smoke. done she's, THC. She's done the THC kind of marijuana. So, yeah. So she gets on the CBD and like a couple weeks ago, yeah, like that. She's like, wow, this stuff's actually like really helping me. Like, well, That's good. It helps with my anxiety and this and that. And then she like last week wanted me to buy one of those little THC pens for her. Like the little um, electronic cigarette kind of. Okay. And it's got the weed stuff in the pen all right and i talked to her like the like a yeah it was a couple days ago this was a week after she had been smoking it and she's like i am so amazed by this she's like you're gonna say i am so high (laughs) no (laughs) so she's got i've got three nephews she's got three boys okay and she's like i don't think i've even yelled at the kids one time since i even started taking the cbd and i I just felt so proud that i got her to like she's smoking pot now not around the kids obviously but right Hopefully not, but but the CBD is helping enough to where she's not yelling at the kids. Yeah, or is it the the pen? I think it's a little bit of both, but okay. I don't know how often she smokes a pen or if she does some in the morning or whatever, but that's what I would do. So yeah, as but CBD as... supposedly really helps. I've taken it before; it helped with depression and getting through other shit. So my girlfriend takes it for uh, she. I think she's somewhat diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Where is she that, has like is that muscular? Yeah, her muscles like hurt like crazy. Ew. And so yeah. she takes That'd be CBD good for at that, night yeah. for that. Does it work for her? She uses the gummies and I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have you ever tried it? I haven't. Uh I thought about it. getting into it uh back when like my medications weren't working at all. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, last straw, like let me let me talk to my doctors about like smoking and seeing if if that yeah. would help, I don't. I don't want to smoke. I don't want to yeah. be a smoker. I don't think any doctor is gonna like willingly tell you you should smoke weed. No, nah, we've talked about it. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's a good direction. All oh, good. Some uh... because I talked to him about uh, like shrooms and uh, mm-hmm. ketamine and oh, stuff like that. Ketamine, man. Hmm. Yeah, I still need to get into the trials for those. Yeah. Right, if you, you want nothing but good things. Yeah, I've done ketamine before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For reals. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, nasal spray type of ketamine. And? It fucks you up. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. This would be an IV drip, I think. Yeah, that's how they initially do it. And then I think they can set you up with a prescription afterwards. Wow. For it. I'm guessing it's probably super expensive because it's not FDA regulated yep. yet. Are the trials out in Granville at Metro Health? I have out no there? idea. I tried talking to my psychiatrist who was trying to figure out if. Pine Rest could get me hooked up with it, but mm. there was no go. Yeah, remember that one sexy little girl I dated that got me into trouble? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, she did that. <laughs> I drove her to one of those treatments once. Hey, oh, sh- I think you're gonna say hey, sh- drove her to needing to go to no. those treatments. Well, probably that too. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to all my bitches. <laughs> yeah, shout yeah, and that's that. how I tried it. Shout so. out to that car that you were in. <laughs> Whoa. That's the first one, Ben. That's the first there. one. Where's the second? Oh, the- <laughs> okay, one more. Oh, there we go. Three in one year. Three in one. Hey, Ben. What? You uh, want an update on my truck? Yeah. All right. It's still in one piece, baby. Oh, thank God. Yes. I thought, oh, you it's almost, almost been a month, man. You almost had me. It's been like 20 days. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new record. 345 to go, baby. No, you did damn well with that Impala. Is, uh, oh, yeah, dude. Have you sold that yet? Are no, I haven't even cleaned it out yet, Ben. Oh, my I God. I said two episodes right. ago I was going to clean it out. Now everything, like all the Coke cans are probably getting phlegm all, all uh, in the bottom of them. That's disgusting. No, actually, the day after that, or I think it was the day that we had released that podcast about me saying, hey, if anybody wants my Impala, give me 900 bucks. <laughs> Amanda messaged me on Facebook, really? and she's like asking me questions about it for her, I don't know, her daughter, her, sex, oh, okay. her sexy daughter. Oh, I mean, if you I wonder if she sells dildos too. I th- wow. mm, stop. You have to get me off. We of have that. audio of Amanda's <laughs> daughter going into Amanda's bedroom. Dude, I found a dildo. <laughs> and we just found out Amanda's daughter's 16 years old. So we're going to cut that part out. And a dude. Dildo, dildo, dildo. Uh, just like our new Secretary of Health or whatever. Yeah, that's right. Hey, nothing wrong with I that. I heard about that. Well, he's not a dude anymore. I mean, she's not. 
She. 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 No. <sighs> hey, did you used to be a guy or something? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that show, Ben? They did the pandemic special and nothing yeah, else. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? I'm real upset. Me too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, speaking That's of shows. Good conversation. <laughs> yeah. On to the next topic. Oh, yeah. I love it when we segue like that, baby. I am three episodes out of four episodes deep on Night Stalker. So you had seven days, 24 hours in each of those days. So it was I have a life, Brett. Because I basically have a wife, Brett. A hundred and, no. A hundred and. Like 80 hours later. Yeah. And you couldn't find room to fit four of those hours in there. What do you think of the, uh, the thing, though? What do you think of it? Night Stalker. Oh, it's a great documentary. Is it? Because you texted me the other day. You said, I uh, just woke up from falling asleep to it. Well, that is, that's was not that because just because you were not, tired? or it's because I was tired. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. Thank God. And it started off kind of slow. It starts off kind of slow, but then it, when it gets in, it really gets mm-hmm. in. And yeah. Boy, is it a graphic documentary! Oh, so graphic. It is too. I've yeah, seen, I've seen a lot of people like, uh, like they barely cover up about... stuff. Whatever, get the fuck over yourself. Well, I'm just saying, like, I'm it's call very. You. Gra- you saw people pissed off about what? How graphic it was? Oh, really? Like the pictures they show crime scene photos. Okay, so it's not just me. No, <laughs> I mean you're a it. snowflake in itself, but you're definite fucking snowflake. Like, if anything is a snowflake, it's you. Wow. You Thanks, are the Eric. snowflakiest of flakes <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh, Shay, how was your birthday, by the way? No, we're talking Night Stalker, Brett. Yes. Night Stalker. Anything else you have to say about that? Check it out, though. Night Stalker. Yes. I, like, uh, I thought it was a cool, cool show. I still don't know how it ends, but You don't I'm even anxious. know who it's about yet. I don't. I know, and that's what like caught me off guard is one that one episode four, I think. Or yeah. it's got to be episode. I, I, yeah, four. it has to, unless you fell asleep during episode three. Uh, yeah, they, I did find out. You found out who it was a name. Yeah, but I don't know if that's but, legit. If that's the person, I'm guessing it is. You're correct. Yeah, I'm sure you are. But I didn't like. That's what caught me off guard was it's a pretty notable name, and you know it's a notable name, right? I did not know it's a notable name. Turn your mic off. Yeah, that's a notable name. Really? Yeah. He was, uh, you ever watch American Horror Story? No. Oh, well, he was like a character in that show when they had a bunch of serial killers like as characters. Okay. But it is a notable name, which, yeah, well, definitely caught me off guard. I mean, guard. this person, it, it must be notable because the person that it is enjoyed being called the Night Stalker. Yeah. No, it's dude. Every time I watch a documentary about these types of things, they yeah. a are always from California, like the uh, Golden, Golden State, State Killer, Killer one. And I like for the first three episodes, I thought it was about the Golden State Killer. Because really, there's all these different killings that are happening. But didn't you watch the? I did. I did. I, I was gonna say. The, I know. The, okay. I didn't really think that. But this guy has like no mo. Right. Which is yeah. That's fucking that that is blowing me away the fact that there's so many things that aren't tied together like yeah there's kids involved there's murders and what's it, up with there being just so many serial killers in in, in california during yeah. the 70s and 80s and uh, 90s that's crazy could get away with it man there wasn't dna to evidence back then yeah i know i wonder if there's like any notable serial killers out of michigan hmm dog man hmm have you ever heard of Dog Man? No, I haven't. Oh, I God. thought you were talking Dog the Bounty Hunter. No, I'm He's... talking about Dog Man. It's okay. a, it's a, it's a. Is it a serial killer or is it a, a hound man like a dog? <laughs> it's man. a dog man. <laughs> okay, that's that sounds like more of an urban legend. Not that's a... what it is. Okay, well I was asking for serial killer. Dog Man legend, Michigan. In Michigan oh, folklore, the Michigan Dog Man was allegedly oh. witnessed in 1887. Oh, that's a good year. The creature is described as a seven-foot-tall, blue-eyed or amber-eyed canine-like animal with a torso of a man and a fearsome howl that sounds like a human scream. <laughs> Whoa, it's me. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been me. <laughs> cool.
cool. Is there uh, more to the story? I was going to play There's a Song, but I can't find the song. Damn it. No, don't. Don't play it. Well, dude, there's even the a... The old hockey game has a host team at a team. There's even a 16-minute documentary on YouTube about the Michigan Dog Man. Really? Yeah. Can we play the whole thing just no. to fill time? No. Nice. All right. Fuck you, Mark Rollison. Sorry. Okay. I just had to get that out there. Uh, what, oh, okay. What were we going to talk about? What were we talking about? The night soccer? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There being no MO. Yeah. All this. Yeah. How did we get into Dogman? Uh, I asked if there's any notable uh, serial killers from Michigan. Ah, that's it. And then you're like, hey, I got an urban legend for you about something that's completely different than that. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, thanks, Ben. You're yes. always on top of it, brother. Well, let's let's bring it back. Okay. What else did Speaking I suggest? Speaking of bringing it back <laughs> for the show today. Guess what they're bringing back? Oh, Ben. Daredevil? Dude, I'm segueing like a motherfucker <laughs> this episode. Dude, I'm so excited about this one. Did you ever watch Daredevil? Okay, so is it the da- Daredevil from Netflix? Yeah. It's not Ben Affleck? Oh, my God. Daredevil? No. Okay, good. 2003, Ben Affleck, I don't Jennifer know. Garner. I don't know. Electra. Oh, God, she's a fine piece of butt. She bothers me for some reason. She's, she's like, like too, too like, nice. Uh, yeah, Expedia.com. Two pitch perfect. Whatever the fuck fucking credit card she fucking <sighs> Yeah. She's such a cutie, though. She looks really good without makeup. She's okay. got that natural glow to her. Ah. She's got some nice birth and hips, despite being so tiny. Yeah. Did you ever watch that show, though, Daredevil? No, I did not. <laughs> I've well, heard nothing but great things about it. It's so it. good. You should watch it. There's three seasons on Netflix. So they did. Oh, really? I thought there was only two. No. But there's three. Huh? Well, why am I telling you to watch anything? You're not going to fucking do it. Did you start the Expanse? No. Uh, I didn't think you did. I got other stuff on my docket before okay, we start that. Whatever. Night Stalker. I've been yeah. watching that. We've got a whole hour to watch. Got to watch take Yellowstone. Me two weeks. Yellowstone? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. If you want to watch Yellowstone, go I heard there. nothing but good things go about there that show. Go there in person. <laughs> got to no! watch that show. It's What is it about? <laughs> it's about. Uh, is it a drama? Kevin, Kevin Costner. Yeah. It's about Kevin Costner? So is it yeah. a documentary? Yeah. Is it about how he made Dances with Wolves? <laughs> yes. Two Socks? And Waterworld. Oh, Waterworld. Nice. They should merge both of those movies. Ben, you're taking a while on that beer. You want to drink with me? Oh, that's right. I, yeah, I'm only halfway done with I'm this. On my, I'm halfway done with my second. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to record a podcast with you. So they're bringing so, back Daredevil. So yeah, so they had their own like little Marvel universe within the Netflix universe. So there was mm-hmm. three seasons of Daredevil. There was, um, I think, three there's seasons. There's too much shit to keep track of. Right. But there's there was like Jessica Jones. That was a good series. There's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, that one I didn't ever put any stock into because it looked too hokey. And yeah. it was a network show. Right. But ne- the Netflix shows, all the ones that I'm naming, uh, Luke Cage and then Iron Fist. Iron Fist, I think it was. Good God. And there's at least two episodes of all of the, or two seasons. And now there's all the Disney Plus shows. Right. But so they canceled all those like a year and a half. Yeah. The ago, Netflix ones. When Netflix like dropped them because the Marvel Universe was buying all that and en- all the entities basically. Right. That they could. And those are fucking great shows because they are, they're gritty. That's and, what I heard. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of good action and there's good dialogue and character development all that shit that you look for and so they canceled all those and now they're saying that it's um, boring (laughs) did I just throw you off or piss you off I don't know I was going it was a joke it was the last statement I was going to make and then we were going to move on but you know I'm just trying to fill time it was a joke I'm just trying to contribute okay I'm not the snowflake here you are bitch I'm just kidding I love you (sighs) drink that beer so what were you saying so um the guy that played daredevil in the yeah. series the, reportedly has been caught or seen on the spider-man 3 set oh so now there's shit. all these rumblings of the mcu like picking these shows back up and not necessarily like revamp or um re Re- rebooting them yeah but like re- just picking them up where them. they yeah. left off yeah so i'm excited about that so if, if they bought the rights to them then they could p- put the first three seasons of daredevil on disney plus i believe so 
but I believe they're still on Netflix. So I don't know. Oh, they are. Yeah, I don't know. How oh, all then that never goes, mind. So. But yeah, definitely if you're into like superhero ish type shows. Yeah. Yeah, watch those. Netflix. I'll probably just watch if I watch them. I'll probably just watch Daredevil. I, no, that's perfectly. I fine. don't think I'd branch off into the other ones. Yeah. None of the other ones appeal. Daredevil to me. is the most. It's the grittiest, I think. And like, uh, yeah, that damn WandaVision's out on Disney Plus now. Have you checked that yes, out? Yes, I told you I was going to report back. And I like is it. it. Shit, really? No. It's weird, but I can see where it's going. It's not cheesy. Oh, it's a little cheesy, but it's like because it looked super. Cheese. Oh no, no, like it because like so the first two episodes you're in a black and white world. Not great, but you can see where it's going to be directed towards kind of a Pleasantville type thing where yeah. like oh colors are showing up and now everybody turns to color and like from what I've seen in the like trailers and stuff, they go through time like fast. So each episode is like a different time period. So next okay. they're like hippies, and then after that there's like. I don't even know. So what is it? Just gonna be one season? Um, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. But it's just two characters that I have no care about. I don't like Wanda. I, I like Vision, but Wanda is more of a an actress thing. I, I'm not a fan of her because her fucking accent is so. She is miss. the best looking of the. She's very fine. The oh, yeah, Olsen. Yeah, sisters. I would say so, but like, you're supposed to be like a Russian ish um accent and it's, oh, okay. it's like hit or miss every time she's on screen she's russian just like uh black widow no she's not she's actually like um is black widow russian yeah it's a made up i read an article about it the other day like it's a made up place where um where she's from yeah yeah oh, okay and it might have made up language apparently so ah yeah well that is very interesting Whatever. please tell me I don't give a fuck <laughs> 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 you can't criticize me when you bring nothing to the table, Ben. Oh my God! So we were gonna. The next thing on the list, the bucket list, was uh, cringeworthy caller, and that was gonna. That lead, was that attributed was back segue to me. Yeah, into this next thing, which was uh, calling Max. Are we gonna do it? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should do it with your phone. I was looking through uh, Patreon messages. Yeah. And he had one from. Five episodes ago, like a comment on one of the episodes. Uh huh. So he could still be around, just not. No, he's he he's not listening to us anymore. You don't think so? No, I'm gonna put five dollars down when we ask him if he picks up, which he won't. On the fact that well, don't you you have his number? Yeah, no, but my phone's always. It's okay. Okay, let's 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 try it out. Let's give it a shot. It's gonna do it really bad when I start calling him, though. We'll see. Doing it already. Gonna call Max Bora. Gonna call Max Bora. Stop it. Uh, he's not gonna pick it's up because it's your. What is this about? Max, where have you been, you piece of queef? <laughs> where have I been? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You never interact gotta, with us anymore. I got a new job. I'm busy right now. Do you still listen to us, though? No. Kind of. <laughs> I'm backed up a couple of episodes oh, to be on. I knew it. I knew it. Bad. Well, I knew you were backed up because the past like three episodes we've just like really quietly mentioned where the hell is max been where's he been but forgot you got a new job how's it going man that's it's not bad it's a lot better than my last job but well, at my cool. last job i was able to drive around and listen to you guys but uh, believe it or not you're not work appropriate oh, <laughs> oh that's true <laughs> no way what uh what uh what are you doing for your job i guess nsfw what do you say, Ben? NSFW, not safe for work. Ah, uh, yeah, it said explicit, I guess, when I downloaded it. Yeah. But for work, I I work at a place called Epicurion, and we do we ship out cutting boards. But cutting, they're oh, cutting boards, nice. I use those. Yeah, but they're also what? made out of composite paper, which is recyclable, so it's yeah. all sustainable. The way we make it. 
Sorry, I'm walking and there's a bunch of dogs going fucking nuts because I'm colored. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. Yes. That just happened. <laughs> are you guys recording? Yeah, we are. Yes. Oh, shit. Hello. We were literally worried about your well-being. <laughs> I'm so. colored. <laughs> now we know. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm still alive. I need to catch up. I know. I know. It's okay. We just wanted to make sure. We were just okay. worried about you. We it's care. Okay, like, we care about our listeners. Yeah, and oh, we, I know we actually made a mug for you that says "Number One Listener." So we just have to send it to you. Well, God damn! Yeah, I'm honored. Yeah, and Ben. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got COVID. Did you really? I saw. No. I wasn't. Oh, you saw okay. you saw the episode title, but you didn't listen. Yeah, right? <laughs> I just assumed Ben died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we Brett's, can only hope, right? Brett's now doing the podcast with my grandma. Oh god, well, it's mm. just sexual thrusting all night. Yeah, oh. I'd listen to that. Oh okay, <laughs> so you won't listen to this, but uh, Brett, let me tell you about my day. Yeah. Uh, well, cool. Queen. <laughs> how's how's your hot wife doing? How's my hot wife? She's yeah. doing pretty well. Nice. She's still uh, nimble as ever. Always nimble. Oh, okay, good. Always I willing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that ninety nine percent of the time. Sometimes I want him to fight back. Oh jeez. Uh, no, whatever you're into. Oh, I'm into this right here. So what are you guys talking about? Oh, we Let's... asked the questions, Max. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> have you uh since you don't have time for us, do you have time for TV. Have you been watching uh, the documentary Night Stalker on Netflix? God, no. I don't watch any TV anymore. Have you watched Daredevil on Netflix? I watched the first season. Yeah, and? It was alright. And then I couldn't really get back into it. We're going to hang up on Max here. <laughs> well, apparently, well apparently they're bringing uh, Daredevil back into the MCU. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So. Have you guys tried? Have you watched WandaVision? I did. We just actually just talked about it. What do you think? Ah, uh, I wish they would have done that one, those two episodes in a one episode, because I'm already kind of tired of it. Wait a minute! Okay. I thought you didn't have time for TV. Yeah. Well, I have time for that. <laughs> it's like the multi-million dollar fucking TV show. I'm gonna watch the shit out okay, of that. That's true. I do agree with what you said, though. It would have made more sense if they did it in one episode, because you see the timeline that's that's gonna change. So. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I, I thought think it was it's gonna, decent. Yeah, I think it'll blow our minds eventually, but right now I think it's just kind of right. really dragging their feet on it. The Mandalorian, that. though. <gasps> have you? Did you watch that? Yes. Yeah, I did. You did? Yes. You caught up on the second season, though, man? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, Boba, Boba Fett? What do you think yeah, about that? Yeah, we've talked about that. We've talked about that. <gasps> but, yeah. stone bastard. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Um... Get that what joint else? out of your ass. What and... else? There's a. Uh... Oh, did you watch the flight attendant, Max, on HBO or no? The flight attendant? No. All What's right. that well, about? You back the fuck off. I'm not explaining Ooh. it to you. Google. No, I, I'll do it. It's uh, this flight attendant hooks up with this guy, and when she wakes up in the morning, he's dead. And then the rest of the show is about figuring out who done it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sounds amazing, and we and you don't even know you don't know if it's her or if it was somebody else right, because right, right, uh, right, right, right. yeah, a, I'm not she's, into she's a drunkard. I'm not into those mystery documentaries. Oh, it's not a documentary. It's a it's a written it's TV act- show. It's got but Kaylee it's, Cuoco. Uh, Kaylee Cuoco, really good. Maybe, probably have, not. Hey, Max, have you seen The Expanse? Fuck no, that looks awful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm on season four, Max, and it's a great show, okay? Oh, well, you got awful taste, buddy. Well, (laughs) we all knew that. I'm going to find you and probably kiss you on the lips. Ah, thanks, dude. Wait till COVID's over. Then I'm going to fold your fucking socks, you bitch. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so what the fuck else you guys Max, got for me? Max, <laughs> oh, sorry. we'll be the ones that keep things rolling, okay? I, I'm sorry. I stepped out of line, sir. You're correct. All right. Ben's got a question for you. Yes. Ben, ask him. I'm asking. Okay. Why are you looking at me? I'm not. Talk I wasn't even looking at you. I was read looking at the card. card until you yelled at me. Read the card. God damn. Read the goddamn card, man. All right. If your mom and Vandy 
switched bodies, and the only way to get them back to normal was to bang one of them. I get a divorce. <laughs> which one? Which one would you fuck? <laughs> oh man! Oh man! My Mandy. mom's gross. Yeah. Mandy. Yeah. yeah. Be weird. Wait, wait, would you, wait, which one would you bang? Would you bang your Vandy that's in your mom's body? So Vandy I'd, only knows, or would you bang? I'd your go mom? with the twenty-nine-year-old. <laughs> so nice. you would. You're gonna but, bang so your mom. Your, yeah. So your mom would be getting banged, basically. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, she deserves it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Max. You're a dirty boy. Yeah, you are. Oh, fuck. I know what I'm doing after I get out of here. <laughs> Masturbating. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to go watch the expanse. Oh, I was probably going to do that as well. Yeah, honestly. he's going to watch his dick expanse. <gasps> oh, man. Hey, uh, scale of one to ten, how much of a snowflake is Ben? Oh, come on. One through ten? Yeah. I don't know. There's some really sensitive people out there. Oh, ben, <laughs> you're not as bad as everybody said you were. Just give him an 11, please. An 11? Yeah. Uh, no, I can't do that to Ben. Ben, I think you're five. Six, uh, maybe. You uh, get geez, bitchy. That's, so still, that's still too high up there. <laughs> Let's go with six. See what I mean? <laughs> it's all right, Ben. Some of us, you know. Just a little more sensitive than the others. Yeah, that's fine. Pussy. All right. We still. Still what? 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 Speak it. Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. <laughs> That's right. What do we still need to do, Max? Oh, God. We got a guy with the snowmobile driving by. One sec. <gasps> can you. Is there anybody around you can interview on the street right no, now? No, come on. I am not talking to this nut sack. No, not him. But, like, if you put your phone on speaker, we could interview them? No. Dude, that that guy's fucking insane. He's called the city to complain about an airplane that flies too low because he thinks he's targeting him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want to talk to this man. Yes, <laughs> I am not talking he's to that just guy. Just the kind of crazy we want on the podcast. Nah, dude, you can take your white ass over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was racist. Well, <laughs> well, oh, holy shit! Back. All right, Max. Do you got anything else for him, Brett? Yeah, Max. We're trying to fill time. If you got anything else, oh. Do I got anything? What's the last movie you watched? Shut the fuck up, Wonder Woman. Ugh. Ugh. What do you guys think about uh, that? Didn't watch it. I'm not gonna pay HBO oh, yeah. for that. I forgot, Max. Dude, you time. should pay HBO because there's. Have you seen the previews out for all the movies they're releasing this yeah, year? There's 21 movies, I think. 21 or 22. Like Godzilla yeah. vs. Kong, The Suicide Squad. Mm. There's a movie with fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. Yep, there's a porno. That Suicide Squad's going to be the first good suicide movie. Right. Besides I don't know. Ben. Have you seen the film about my life? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep, I was going to say Besides that ending's great. <laughs> As we speak, yeah, he's it's a real killer. <laughs> All right, Max, so why are you walking so hard? Uh, it was windy, and I was walking my dog, oh, and then you guys cute. called, and now I'm on the podcast. Well, you were so <laughs> leery or weary about uh, picking up that phone, and then you did it, and I'm real real happy. I kind of figured it'd be worth looking into, yeah, and talk. I just smoked. Can you talk so faster, like, please? Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I thought it'd be great if I answered, so I answered the phone once you called. It That's took me a, a bit because I That's... was like, "Yeah, yeah." You yeah. thought you were gonna ignore us? Yeah. You know, I was really close. I know but... you were. I could, I could, I could tell. But you gotta <laughs> let the phone ring a couple times and get you guys wondering. Yeah, I gotta leave them hanging. Max, can't play. You gotta play hard to get. You've got till next week to at least catch up on one episode of our podcast. Fine, I'm gonna just one. I'm gonna episode. put it off. I want to put it on now. If you can make it work appropriate, I'll fucking jam that shit on the speakers. Work appropriate. Work appropriate. Oh, oh, I get what you mean. Fuck you. Just put, yeah, yeah. Well, suck a cock. Oh you my queer. god. My grandma's upstairs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to apologize to my grandma after this one. Dude, you know she can't fucking hear us. Yeah, she can. No, oh, she can't. What was that like? She my wasn't even here, here when I got here. Oh, she's here. I heard her come in. <laughs> 
Really? Yeah. Oh, God. With an, with an O. Nice. I'm going to get that pussy. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right, Max. You have Andy send us uh, some nudes. Uh, Brett, uh, no, wait. TheBenglaze.com. Yes. All right. You got it. Nudes. Thank you. Or to uh, say your phone number. Uh, 616 Jesus, you're still giving your phone number away? Yes. Yes. I was, Are people texting you? Yeah. Uh, Mark Rollison catfished my ass. You got catfished? Yeah, by Mark Rollison, another patron. Yeah. Or I think he's saying so, I that. Know. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're not caught up on the. He was saying that he was uh, a dude that was setting up a podcast network. Network. And yeah. we were going to be a part of it. Yeah. Oh, he did you dirty. He did what us really dick. dirty, especially after like I looked at his lineup that he suggested, and it was like fucking oh some guy that was on uh, the who's that one famous dude we talked about last week that radio serious radio guy. He's got the serious long hair. He looks like Weird Al. He's got the oh, long hair. Howard. Yeah, Howard. Oh Howard Stern. Howard, Howard, Howard Stern. Stern. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, Max. Appreciate you being there for me, buddy. Because Ben definitely was not. Damn, Ben. Keep it up, brother. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'll keep letting Brett down. All right, Max. We're going to go, okay? All right. All I'll right. listen to the podcast, and I'll even comment or some shit. No, please don't. There you go. Just keep, just keep paying us, please. Oh, I guess I'm trying All to right. FaceTime, you know? Don't answer that. Answer it. All right, no. I don't want to be on it. I'll get naked now. Oh, bye, baby. <laughs> That's fun. Did you, did you hang up on him? Oh, most definitely. Oh. Yeah, I said bye, baby. All right. And then he said, what's that? Is nothing. that your phone that's making that noise? What noise? You don't hear that? Is it just in my headphones? I hear a light reverberation, but... It's a loud screeching. Really? Pick your phone up. Damn. I don't know. Maybe it's just something in my headphones. Oh, I'm glad that. Oh, there it goes. There it went. Oh, uh, must still have been recording. the cord. Yeah, it's still recording. We're yeah. good. We're golden. All right. I'm so, so I'm so glad we did that. He was walking his dog. That brings up a uh, something. We're getting a new dog. Oh, what? Yeah. Why? We're getting a second dog. Oh, please. So our I first pray dog. To God it's not a corgi. Please we don't, don't know what it's going to be yet. We don't know what it's okay. going to be. Can I just put my head We're right adopting here. a dog this oh. time. Why don't you adopt a child, man? Cuz we're going to have a we're going to have a brand new child. Not like an adopted child. Oh yeah, a little worn out kid. Mhm. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have a worn out puss. So you're going to have a <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, So you're getting a cat then. Yes. The biggest vagina ever. The doctor said this about uh, the beavers know. I've seen Never are mind. bigger. That was terrible, but yeah, yeah we almost we almost pulled the trigger on a French uh, oh. French bulldog. French bulldog. So you but really we, like to walk down the path of Eric Zane, don't you? No, you little bitch. No, but uh. Anne came across this dog. It's a girl, uh, 10 months old, and we couldn't get together to have our dog me. Like, yeah, play yeah. with it to see if it was a good match or mm-hmm. not. So That's the French Bulldog? Gonna have to pass, yeah. Oh, so. She's already got. She posted the thing. Did you buy it six, already? She's got people lined up already. Oh. She posted it like six hours ago. Yeah, but why would you need to like wait for your dog to meet it? You know it's gonna be fine. No, we don't. Y- yeah, you know it's a corgi. Those. I don't want to pull the trigger like that. I don't want to be like pushed into a okay. corner to. Uh, I guess. I it's fifteen hundred bucks. <gasps> oh shit! For yeah. a stupid ass dog like that. Yeah, seriously. Damn, those things are fucking ugly. Ah, uh, this one was cute. Oh okay. This all one was all super puppies cute. are cute. Hold on, let me. I want. I want my dream. Let me dog. get your. You want your dream dog? What? I want my dream dog to be a Bernice Mountain dog. Bernice Mountain Dog. Yeah, those Look at this. are pretty French, Frenchy. All right, that's cute, but yeah. I, would, I would never get one. I'm a big big dog kind of guy. God, it is a cute fucking It's a cute dog. dog. Yeah, I'll get it, but that's as big as it's going to fucking get. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it's big good big for our bitch. corgi, and it's good for oh the fact that we don't have like oh. a house with a fenced in yard Stop telling shit. me you have a corgi. <laughs> Corgis are the best. Oh, no. Stop bringing it up. 
Oh. Oh, Ben, you, you finished your first beer? Almost. I'm glad that I fucking brought it today. Yes, you did. You brought you you ran this whole episode. I did, man. I did all the segues. It was it was a yeah. uh, good teamwork. But Ben, I couldn't have done it without your segues because shit, those were good segues. Yeah, I know. Thank Speaking you. Speaking of segues, what's that? The Segway company has actually gone out of business. Seriously? Yeah, Ben. Is this made up news? No, it's completely true. Yeah, dude. That was probably the best segue segue you could ever have. <laughs> right? Let's have a let's have a moment of silence. All right. Okay, that was good. <laughs> yeah. You know what's taking their place? Those little what? fucking electric scooters. Yeah, I know. Those things That's... are pretty fucking fun though. For real? Yes. Like razor scooters? Yeah. No, like the electric ones that are all placed uh throughout like downtown. I, yeah, I haven't seen you them. Haven't, I haven't been downtown. Oh, you don't forever. go downtown because yeah, you, don't don't you don't work in a radio station down there. Yeah, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Uh, but they're all over like uh, Grand Rapids, and they're cheap as fuck, and they're just fun. How cheap are they? To it's rent? like 15 cents a minute. Okay. Which, I mean, I've never ridden one. I had to ride one for more than 10 minutes, so it's a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Yeah. Not bad. It's a good time. Not bad. It's a good time. Don't wear a helmet though. It's well, of course not. I want to be a badass. It's unnecessary. I mean, yeah. You want to at least fit two or three. I want to be a on the bigger scooter. snowflake by wearing a helmet. <laughs> you can say that again, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you got me. That's funny, Ben. Stop. All right, I'm running out of breath. You got a question for me, baby? Uh, so, speaking of, uh, TikTok. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> uh, a woman named Andrea Lopez. Arriba! Is, g- <laughs> is, is going, that is, that's Brett coughing this time, everybody. Huh. Uh, Andrea Lopez is going viral on TikTok for a trick she came up with to catch a cheater. Cheetah? So, Brett, <laughs> if you're going to cheat on your non-existent girlfriend. Oh, I'm a hardcore cheater. This you is best not be texting any other Bretts, bitch. This is a way for uh, her to Bretts. find out if you're cheating. Or for you to find out if she's cheating. It'd probably be harder for you. No. I don't have be to. It'd be easier for her because of... Uh, You'll find out. No, I don't have to like work too hard because the next day she'll just be like, "Hey, I feel really bad, Brett, that I just started texting other Brett about you." So other Brett, do. yeah, there's like, she's gonna cheat on you with somebody named Brett, right? That's what I'm fucking saying. Like, why hell? would you do that? Yeah, like I'm right here. Right? How would you keep the name straight in the phone? Because one exactly. just says Brett, and the other one just says Brett. Like, I'm six foot seven. Or would the other one just say the other Brett? No, nah, she'd probably say she'd call him the other Brett. Yeah, T O B. Yeah. Oh, nice. Come Tob. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, though. Like he's. And tall. I just call you Tob. He's, he's a tall guy too, so it's like she's gonna get really, really confused. <laughs> Unless she starts paying attention to dick size. I got this tiny little peeper. That's right. I bet other Brad who's six seven. Tob's got a big old. Yeah, Tob. Hey. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So in the video on TikTok, she runs a lint roller on the carpet in her boyfriend's room and it pussy. picks up a bunch of long red hairs. Oh, no. I bet. Wait. Hold on. Can I guess? Hold on. Oh. Hold on. No, I want to guess the next sentence. Are these long red hairs from somebody's head? Drapes? Or are these long red hairs from cannabis? Ooh. Let's look at that. Look who knows their weed Ooh. shit. And those are actually, I don't think you have long red hairs from cannabis you no. have short tiny short little itty bitty ears from cannabis. Oh. those are on the pubes then well, but. so anyways uh and ha- andrea's hair is black so pff, oh, this ain't her hair nah naturally so that's why i'm saying it it'd be harder for you to catch the woman because she'd have to have hair from another guy and it'd be short right. it'd be difficult yeah it makes sense so lots of people have commented on the video about how impressed they are uh-huh it's an FBI level trick. Although one cheater took it took it in a different way 
and quote, clean the floor when you have a girl over. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's a wrap on that story. Yes. Clean the floor, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Oh, here we go again. Yes, 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 yes. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, dude. That was quite possibly the dumbest story you've ever brought to the table. What? <laughs> well, how about this one? Okay, okay. Speaking uh, of TikTok. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> There's another thing called Cameo that's very similar. Not really. Yeah, some awesome people like Eric Zaner on that, I think. That's right. <laughs> Fucking Eric with his big What nose. is it, like $15 or something like I that? I don't know. Cheap, because that's who he is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you, EZ, even though you're not listening to our free podcast. That's not Whoa. free unless you want to buy it free. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure he does listen. Well, Dan. <laughs> he would have touched uh, me So the annual Groundhog Day celebration. Love that movie. Punks and Tony Phil Punk's is uh, canceled this year because of the pandemic. It's, what? Uh, what pandemic? Right. Um, uh, moment of silence for Punks and Tony Phil. All um, right. That was good. Why don't they put a mask on that fucking beaver? So the next best thing is Punks and Tony Phil is now on Cameo. <gasps> you fucking kidding me? I'm dead They're serious. They're making fucking money off a of woodchuck they are what how much it? wood would a woodchuck is chuck a wood to chuck? get on cameo no it's a groundhog <laughs> you stupid son of a bitch is that a real question because i think it was <laughs> it was ay, ay, ay. it's called <laughs> it's a movie about it it's bill murray <laughs> speaking of if anybody has bill murray's <laughs> to give you $100 right now if you have it. Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker. motherfucker. That's right. True. Is a woodchuck a groundhog? Is it though? No. What is the difference? What is a what is a groundhog then? Tell me what a groundhog is. Well, it's a uh, Punxsutawney Phil. It's no, a, I didn't ask what a Punxsutawney Phil was. It's that's an animal gonna... that comes out uh, once a year to see its shadow. Okay. What's the difference between a groundhog and a beaver? Um, let's see. We, now we're bringing beavers into the mix. I love it, beaver. Hey, Chris. Ground hog versus, versus beaver. <laughs> woodchuck. Here we go. The groundhog, also known as a woodchuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is Brett Coffer. Um, <laughs> Are you shitting me? No, I'm dead serious. That's the first thing it says. <laughs> oh my god! All right, groundhog versus beaver. <laughs> Without a clear view of their tails, it can be difficult to distinguish whether a pest is a groundhog or a beaver. But beavers have wide, flattened tails, while ground ro- groundhogs have short, fluffy ones. On the other hand, beavers are semi-aquatic, preferring to swim and build their dams across streams and rivers. So Damn. I guess that's like the only difference. Well, that was fun. That was fun for me. Yes. All uh, right. I'm at the Brahengla Haze. Uh, we need an episode title for this. I just think of one. You wrote one down. No, I didn't. Um, Leery, not weary. Damn. Damn. I just damn. told you. I just told you what it was. Um, Leary Weary, Dennis Leary. Wow. Guess we're not going to get to any of this news. No, it's okay because we filled it up with uh, the good stuff. That's right, the good stuff. Yeah, I didn't even let you finish. And your the news story. that I brought just fucking. Oh yeah, that's right. No, please, no, no. I shouldn't have said anything. Please, I uh, go to the Bengals dot com. Please, but fucking people want to know they're going to no. be blue ball. They're gonna be they want to fucking like your posts on Facebook, that Ben Glaze on Facebook. Ah, here we go. Oh, my God. Punks Tony Phil is now on this, Cameo for $80. Oh, you can get a personal message from the Groundhog. Technically, it comes from one of its handlers. Not exactly Punks and Tony Phil because Phil just sits there quietly. As far as we know, Phil won't. Give you a prediction on whether we'll have an early spring or a longer winter. Oh, there's legal legal things behind the scenes that he has to take care of. <laughs> Follow us on Patreon.com slash Glaze and Haze. 
we appreciate any influence. Oh, shit. Any monetary influence that you'd like to give us. Yeah. Uh, go to thebenglaze.com. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hayes. It's actually the Brett Hayes. I feel like all this is just H-A-Z-E. super confusing to everybody. Why? We should just send them one place. Just go to patreon.com slash and Hayes. Yeah, but like if like you never heard of anything else, like, hey, follow me on Twitter if you yeah. want to. Follow me on Twitter at the Ben Glaze. Okay, and then check out my website at thebenglaze.com. Okay. Like, that wasn't that confusing. Oh, by the way, we got a new iTunes review. If you want to hear a podcast, go to... Um, anywhere that podcasts are available. Uh, if you want to pay us for our podcast, go to... Patreon.com slash Haze. Oh, my God. Especially check it out on Spotify. No, don't check it out on Spotify. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just go to Patreon. Ben, you want to promote money. But, money paying. But if you do listen to it on iTunes, go to iTunes uh, reviews. Give us a five-star review. Give us a text review. No, just because it helps the podcast. Follow us, subscribe to us on iTunes, and give us a text review. Uh, text review. Yes. Don't follow iTunes. And Is that what I said? Write a podcast note, oh like Ben God. just fucking said. Well, you want to hear the new review? I'd love to because it's in. I probably don't want to hear it, but I want to hear it. Um. So the last one was on January first. Mm-hmm. Just said awesome and great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This one, the title of the review, fun. Oh, that's nice. It's a five star review. Ooh, and it says yes. <gasps> fun to listen. <sighs> really? <laughs> that's it. I thought there was another one that said Lurch sucks. Uh, no. There has to have been. It was very recent. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thursday. Wow, Ben, we have two new iTunes reviews? Yeah, we do. Ooh, what's that one say? I bet I know. Uh, the, <laughs> the name of the person is No Laws Drinking Claws. Okay. So and, it's, a, it's uh, a woman. Oh, shit. What? Title of the review, <gasps> SMH. I'll take my head. Two stars. Two stars. Did they only give us two stars? They only gave us two stars. Wait, doesn't it say Lurch sucks or something on that? It says Brett Hayes is horrible. Oh, yeah, that one. Hey, but that two stars, I'm pretty sure meant to be five stars because that brought us down to a, a 4.5 initial rating. We do have a 4.5 out of five stars. And we need a 4.3. No, I do not no, want to get more. No, we need a 4.3, Ben. I want to get more two two uh star ratings we need one more two star rating maybe a three star rating to bring us down to 4.3 and then i'm content for the rest i don't know i d- we're gonna need more than that because we have 107 reviews we have 107 people that have ever listened to our episodes that's so. true we used to have like two grand two grand well thanks eric zane for ditching us yeah seriously fucking firing ben that's true. Starting a war with him. Mm. Just like you do everybody else, Eric. How do you expect to get through life at 75 years old like you are? I should have ended the podcast a long time ago. Should have. I'm just talking to EZ We're just right now. rambling right now. I'm talking to EZ, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm listening. I'm done talking to him, though. Oh, okay. So, All right. Do you want so to head out? Uh, yeah. Go to thebenglaze.com. Oh, it's so confusing. I'm so confused. <laughs> How does things work? Uh, we will think of a podcast title on our own. Patreon.com. I bet it's going to be fine. I bet it's going to be Leary, not Weary. Or it's just going to be called Snowflake. Oh, that one. No, nope, we've had that one before. We have? No, we yeah, haven't. We've had something a long, long, long. Leary, not Weary? Yeah, All right. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Okay. Bye, fuckers. Let's, no, oh, let's. No. No. Restart. When I said let's do it, I mean let's do it. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm one beer deep, so I'm really randy. I drank my three. I know, so now we have two extra for next week. Right. Well, they're going to be warm by next week, and you're going to have to throw them out. Next... Fridge. Yeah, but she's Along probably... with two bottles of beer from last week. She's going to drink them. You know what? She's an alcoholic. Chooch. What? what? Not what? chooch. <laughs> chooch. I miss dude with, <sighs> dude, I don't know, dude. some other word. Is but, uh. Smooch? Dude, yeah, smooch. Mm-hmm. Smooch my grandma. Um, Like one wine cooler and she's tipsy. Oh, fuck yeah.
yes so thanks. she's easy thanks to get in bed for, thanks for giving me that inside intel that's, that's what it's that's what i'm here for all right brett all right, tell the walk up there and hopefully she doesn't she didn't hear what i yelled about her earlier tell the kind folks where they can find you don't tell me how to live my life okay <laughs> bye fucker <laughs>